So let's do our warm ups and see where we go from here. Feet hip width apart, spread your toes out. Straight ahead, sitting bones down, core activated. So bring those bottom ribs toward your spine and up. Just feel that elongation again. Shoulders back and down. Make sure you're not hunching up and reach your crown way up to the ceiling. Take a few breaths, just getting centered and focused inward for your yoga. And then inhale and bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch way up and keep those shoulders down. Hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you just gently and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, get a good little back bend going. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, come on over into the forward position. Lift your sitting bones, get a stretch on the back of your legs, hands toward your head. Move your head around, let that neck release a little bit. And then bending your knees, lift the ribs and drop the sitting bones and start at the bottom of the spine, just winding slowly all the way up and lifting your heart, head back into another upper body back bend. Take a few breaths there, stretch your spine open. And then inhale to the top and release your arms. Just take a moment feeling that circulation. And again, let's reach at shoulder level, way out to the sides, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then bring your hands behind and clasp the opposite finger outside and lift your heart, stretch back in the way, and exhale over. And again, as high with those sitting bones and hands as you'd like, take a few breaths, just focus in. Inhaling, unwind from the bottom again, all the way up, and into that upper body for a nice stretching back bend. Take a few breaths there, just relax down into your feet evenly. Then inhaling, come upright and release your arms. Feel mountain pose, notice how centered over your feet you are. And then arms out, Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp them, and bring your arms back next to your ears. Stretch way out through the top of your head and lean without twisting over to the side, getting those ribs opening, push the foot down with the lean away from it. And make sure your shoulder doesn't lean forward, straight to the side. Inhale back straight up and switch the other hand to the front. Lengthen through your spine and again, no twisting is just lean over and feel those ribs stretching out. Take a few breaths there, just relax and deepen. And then inhaling, come back upright, release your arms, feel your sides a little bit more stretched and your spine has been laterally moved. So we'll do our twist. So go ahead and stretch your spine apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows gently and bring your arms next to your ears. Stretch again through the spine and exhale through the twist. Another breath in, pivot on over and relax. So lift your sitting bones a little if you want. Keep the weight on both feet. Keep your arms next to your ears. Pull in close to your leg if you like that. And then stay in your twist. Work your way down up. And again, elbows back and chest high. Coming into an upper body back bend. But remember when you're twisted, gently, especially in the lower back. Take a few breaths there. Just relaxing into it. Lift your heart. <clears throat> Inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, lengthen your spine, separate the bones and twist the other way. And one more breath in. Pivot on over as you exhale and just relax. A few breaths, just releasing tension. 
And then slowly work your way back up, stay in your twist as you come into that upper body back, the elbows back, chest high, but gently on the low back. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, bring your arms up, let your shoulders down, extended mountain. And then let's swan dive forward, so arms out at shoulder level, pivot chest forward, and then just drop into a dog. Lift your sitting bones, drop in your chin a little bit more, and then relax. And then Bring your hands up under your knees, on your shins, press in, elbows, <clears throat> knees, and back straight. And then drop down again, and just hang your arms in front as you slowly wind your way to the top, shoulders back and down, coming back into mountain pose. And just focus inward, noticing how your spine is activated. All that circulation going through you. you. Notice what's happening internally, that yoga perspective. And don't forget to breathe. So let's step wide. Go straight ahead. And we're going to pivot at the hip joint. So bring your thumbs into that hip crease right at the top of your thighs. And then push the sitting bones just a little bit back, chest and chin lead. Come forward till your back is parallel to the floor. And then stretch the spine apart so the sitting bones are going one way and the crown the other way. And then slide your hands along your legs down toward your ankles or drop them straight under your shoulders to the floor. Or remember, you can have books or blocks to raise the floor if you want that to happen. And then again, stretch your spine apart. We'll do a little twist. So spread your toes out, get centered into both feet evenly. Keep the right hand either on your leg or the floor. And bring the left arm out to the side, looking at it. And rotate your whole spine, whole body looking up toward that hand as you bring it up. So the sitting bones are back and crown forward, stretching those spine bones apart. And you're turning hips, ribs, and shoulder toward the side or a little further toward the ceiling, however much you want to do. Reach out through the top of your head and back through the sitting bones. Get it nicely stretched open. And then follow your hand back down, either to your leg or the floor. And get ready to twist the other direction. So again, sitting bones one way, crown the other. Left hand stays down, right hand out. And again, just turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder as you look up toward that hand going to the ceiling. So stretch it out. Your hand can be on your leg or still on the floor. And the other one stretching straight above. Remember that spine has to stretch apart to twist effectively. So keep pushing sitting bones and crown away from each other as you deepen into your twist. And then bring that hand back down. And again, just allow the hands to be either on your legs or the floor, stretch apart. And then hands to your ankles and slowly pivot up and into your wide leg position. Take a moment there, feel your body. <clears throat> we're going to do, a, it's called a pyramid. So we're going to stay wide with the feet. And then we're going to turn them just like we do for triangles and warriors. But we're going to turn the whole body as we do it this time. So sink into your feet and then turn one foot all the way to the side. Heel back, toes forward on that back leg. And then turn your whole body, please, back hip forward and the front hip back as you come into that position. Both legs stay straight for this. Thumbs again into that crease at the top of your thighs, crease. And then chest and chin lead, keep your back as flat as you can. And pivot your body forward till it's maybe parallel to the floor. And you're looking down at your front foot. And then you can keep your hands there, making sure that back hip keeps coming forward and the front hip keeps going back. Or you can bring your hands behind you either to clasp across your lower back 
We're going to come into reverse prayer with those fingertips up toward your shoulder blades and elbows toward each other. So keep reaching your sitting bones one way, around the other. Back hip is coming forward, front hip is coming back so that your hips are even toward the floor. Take a breath. Just lengthen and relax. And then pivoting back up, looking toward the side. If your hands are behind you, just release them. And turn to the front with both feet, coming back into that wide legged position. Take a moment, just feel your body a little bit different today. And balancing the body, we have to go the same way the other direction. So once again, we're going to move the feet first. Keep your body nice and open. Turn the foot, the other heel back, toes forward, and begin pulling that back hip all the way around to look toward that front foot. So if you're on the mat, check that that outside of your foot is kind of parallel to the outside of the mat, either on the right along it or parallel to it. The back hip keeps coming up, the front hip keeps going back. So that those hip bones both face the front as well as your shoulders. Thumbs into that crease. Sitting bones push back as you leave with your chest and chin. And again, come around to that parallel to the floor position with your back as straight as you can. Keep those sitting bones going back. Back hip up, front hip back, crown reaching straight ahead. So you're kind of looking at your toes, chin a little bit maybe toward your chest so that back of the neck keeps stretching. You don't want to be looking forward. And you can either keep those hands there for that hip action to make sure you're not losing it. Class or prayer position behind you for a little shoulder look. Take a breath. Make sure your weight is into both feet evenly. Take a little bit more stretch through your spine. And then pivoting back up, releasing your hands, turn back to the front with your feet coming to the front and into your wide leg position. And then go ahead and step back into mountain pose. Take a moment noticing a little bit more energy, maybe through your hip area and torso. And then let's just stretch up. Pivot forward, come on over and all the way to the floor into our child pose transition. Hips toward your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Take a few breaths there, knees together, get a nice stretch on your lower back. Or if you want to breathe more easily, separate the knees. Forehead toward the floor, shoulders down. Just breathe and relax. And then on an inhalation, come on up, bring your legs out to the front and into staff position. Sitting bones a little behind you, feet pressing away. Keep breathing and relaxing. So remember, the core is active, so you're supporting your lower back, no slumping, and just allow your crown to go toward the seat. So you can keep your legs in staff position or you can just go into a cross leg position. We're going to work the neck a little bit. So go ahead, chin toward your chest. And just let your head be a weight so that that back of the neck gets a nice stretch. We're going to be using that stretch in a little bit. So just breathe in. And then one hand and then the other to the back of the head. Remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight to give a nice stretch all along the back of your neck. Don't forget keeping that core active so the spine at the low back is nice and straight and supported. So we're just using the neck, getting it stretched out a little bit more. And then releasing your hands. Keep your head back facing forward. Feel a little bit more activation through the neck. Now we're going to lift the chin and look up toward the ceiling. Keep lifting the chin, but at the same time, lift the base of your skull. So the whole head is kind of reaching way up toward the ceiling, face first. And then move your jaw around a little bit. 
just because we don't often do that. And release and tip your head back upright. We're going to work the sides of the neck next. So bring one ear tipping down toward that shoulder. Shoulders, hips facing the front or still supporting you. And as that head comes down, no hunching up through either shoulder. And bring the hand you're tipping toward up. And again, just a little extra weight on the side of your head so that neck and shoulder area get more stretched. If that works for you and you like it, you can put your hand down if you want to. So just maximize or minimize. Remember, personal practice doing what's right for the side of your neck and shoulder. Take a breath, just relax, let it stretch, don't force it. And then hand back to the lap, the other one coming down. And tip your head back upright, feel the difference. So yeah, balancing the body, tip the other ear over to the opposite side. And again, everything else stays nice and straight. We're still supporting your lower back. The hand you're tipping toward comes up. And again, just a little extra weight for that shoulder to get maybe a little bit more stretched out if that works for you. But remember, keep relaxing through that side with stretching. If that's good, you can bring the other hand down if you want to or not, always a choice. Take a few breaths there, just feel that side, let it release and relax into a little more stretch if that works for you. And then get hand on the lap and the other one coming back down and tip your head back upright. Again, just notice the sides of your neck a little bit more stretched out and lengthened. Keep that crown moving up. Now we're going to turn into our backing out of the driveway position. So those shoulders stay face in front, just like the hips. Now we're only turning chin toward the shoulder, looking to the side as you keep reaching up through the top of your hip. So a little twist through the neck. Deepen it if you like. And then chin back to the center. Keep lengthening up. Exhaling and relaxing those shoulders down and chin toward the other side. Looking toward that shoulder, out to the side, and maybe a little bit behind you if that works for your neck. But keep the shoulders, hips facing forward. And then again, bring your head back around straight. Okay, so you should feel a little bit more circulation through the neck through that whole section of your body, release through the shoulders. And we're going to do rabbit. It's very intense on the back of your neck. It's a little hard to breathe when we get into the position. So just allow your body to go only as far as it wants to go. It's supposed to be really good if you have headaches, especially migraines, because it's going to bring that circulation more into your brain and head area. So we're gonna go starting in child's pose. So come on into your comfortable child pose position and just allow your body to relax for a moment. Get a good stretch through the whole spine as much as you would like. And then inhale, sit up on your heels. We're going to bring the hands in front and just press into them so that you can come up and tuck your toes under. Yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's a good stretch for the toes, though, if you can stay in that position. And then bring your hands to cup around your heels behind you. So the toes, the base of the toes are supporting you, not the toes themselves. The hands are cupped around your heels. And we're going to come forward and bring not the forehead, but the crown, the top of your head to the floor. So your hips will probably lift a little bit. You'll be very constricted through the lungs and your crown will come to the floor. So your chin will be crunching into your neck a little bit more. So if that's uncomfortable, minimize it however you need to. So go ahead and come forward. 
and then sits up a little bit, top of the head down to the floor. Keep holding your heels. And then if that's working for you, slide your knees toward your forehead and roll a little bit further onto the top of your head. So intense, breathe, chin into that throat center, coming as much onto the top of your head as you'd like. Take a breath, just relax. You can bring your hips back towards your heels if you want to, but stay on the crown. Bring back your fluffy little bunny tail. It can be as high in the air as you'd like. And then release your feet. Roll back onto your forehead. Release your arms to your side. Back into child's pose. And inhale, sitting up on your heels. So feel a little more circulation through that back of your neck, particularly through the shoulders, through the head. Notice how that worked for you. It's a little intense, so just take a moment to reposition and or reconnect. And then let's slide up and bring the legs back in front to the end of the mat. Sitting bones a little behind you more active, and go ahead and roll down. So bring your lower back down, your lower ribs, your shoulder blades, and your back all the way onto the floor. Take a moment, just that recline integration, kind of feel that head and neck area, just that release and relax as you bring those shoulders down toward the floor. Hands, palms up, just a little reclined integration, just sinking into that surface beneath you. Don't forget to breathe. We're just going to do a little gentle twist before our relaxation. So go ahead and bring your arms up to T position, either palms up or down. We're just going to do our little bent knee twist today. So sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, knees bent. Draw those heels in right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. Press the back way down and lift your feet up with the knees right above your hips. Hands, palms up, or if you turn them palms down, the shoulders stay down a little bit more easily. And then roll your knees straight to one side while you turn them look toward the opposite arm. So bring those knees as far down as they want to go. Remember, you can have a pillow under your knees if that's necessary for comfort. Or you can keep your feet on the floor if that helps as well. If you love the lower back twist, you can bring your knees a little bit more up toward your elbow. That'll give you a little bit more work through that lower back area. Keep your shoulders, shoulder blades down on the floor. The palms down or up. Just notice what your shoulders are doing. Middle back twist, head turning, looking toward that arm on the other side so that your neck is in the twist as well. Always only as much as your body wants and needs. Personal practice, just do what's right for you. Exhale tension. Just let those ligaments release your body, relax into the twist. And then with your Heels coming towards your hips, go ahead and roll onto your back. And again, allowing those knees to be right above your hips. You can bring your feet to the floor if you need to straighten things out. And of course, we're going to twist to the other side. So once again, shoulder, shoulder blades down, hands, palms up or down, your choice. And roll the knees straight over at hip level, as far toward the floor as they want. Turn your head toward that other arm. And again, just relax into your twist right there. Knees down for the lower back, shoulders down for the middle back, head turning for the neck. And if you love the lower back work, you can bring the knees up toward your elbow for a little bit more work in that lower back area. Take a few breaths there, just relaxing in your twist. Emphasizing the exhalation to release into it a little bit more easily, if you like. Deep breaths, just relax. 
And when you're ready to release, again, heels toward your hips. Roll we'll onto your back. Bring the feet down to the mat. Slide the mat along the floor. Straightening your legs, coming into corpse position. Palms up slightly away from your hips. Shoulders down into the floor. Heart expanding open. Just breathe deep. And as you exhale, just let your body sink into that surface beneath you. Soften anything that's tight or tense in your body. Let it relax. So lots of neck shoulder area. So go ahead and make sure those shoulders are releasing down into that surface beneath you. Fill your lungs and as you exhale, let the shoulders sink maybe a little bit more. To maybe a teeny bit toward your chest so you can get a good stretch on the back of your neck as much as you like. But remember, the neck isn't pressing down into the mat. It's just however it naturally goes. Hips, lower body, just release any tension there as well. Soften your body. Let it grow heavier and just feel the support of the earth beneath you. Relaxing completely. Deep breaths in, just exhale and tension out. Letting your body release all the tightness. And as your body keeps relaxing, just let it grow heavier, sinking deeper into the earth. And as it does, just allow your awareness to release your body from attention. As you do, always know other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind always to produce thoughts. It's your choice that you pay attention. At this moment, let your awareness drift away as easily as your breath, letting the thoughts disappear. No need to remember any past or future. Just let the thoughts drift away without awareness. No attention on the content. Letting your thoughts float freely as your body sinks deeper. And just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that awareness deep within, filling it with peace. Peace filling your body. Peace filling your mind. Just taking a few moments, breathing, being. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, feel free to be relaxed as long as you have time. 
time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. You begin moving your body gently whenever you're ready to do so. Breathe in more fully, giving yourself just a gentle stretch and it feels good for you today. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, pressing your back down as you draw your knees in, heels towards your hips, feet flat on the floor. Press your back to the floor as you draw your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good today. And give yourself an appreciative yoga hug. Just let your body know you appreciate its work today and every day. And when you have enough appreciation and hug, bring your feet over to the floor, rolling to the side, and get up ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.